Grab two collie sticks. Repeat after me. Do this drill with me together. We're gonna do two drills. Common Sinawali drills you need to know if you're training collie. Number one is our single weave. What that means is we're gonna cross our arms and then we're gonna uncross our arms. So I'm gonna strike an angle one with my right hand, strike an angle one with my left hand. That crosses our arms. Strike an angle two with my right hand and an angle two with my left hand that uncrosses my arms. So you're gonna make a big X, big X. Just like that. You get it going. Just go nice and slow in the beginning. And over time, gradually speed it up. Hey, Biscuit. Yeah, let's look at that one more time. Starting off in the open chamber position. Right hand strikes the one, left hand strikes the one. See how that crosses my arms? Now we gotta uncross the arms. Right hand strikes the two, left hand strikes the two. Back in the open chamber position. Work that out. Then, we're gonna work on the double weave. When it comes to that single weave, you can also start with the left hand and work the other side as well. So you could start with the right hand, work that. Then start with the left hand, work that too, so you have the coordination on both sides. Look at this guy. Oh my God, look at this guy. He loves it, he loves it. <laughs> Hey, make sure to say hi to Biscuit down in the comments. Let's go on with the double weave. We're gonna start this one off in the chamber position right here. I'm gonna strike my right hand, my angle one, then I'm gonna strike my left hand, angle two. Now watch very carefully here because you have two options that you can do, you can choose from. I can either strike my backhand vertical right there, or I strike my one, I strike my two, or I could flip this over and strike what's called a reverse angle one. Do you see the difference there? So I strike my one, my two, and then my backhand vertical, or I strike my one, my two, and then a reverse angle one, right there. That puts us on the left chamber side. We do the exact same thing on the other side. So my left hand strikes the one, my right hand strikes the angle two, and again, we have that option. I can either strike the vertical or I can flip it all the way over a little bit more and strike a reverse angle one. So we have a one, two, vertical, one, two, vertical. Or we have a one, two, reverse one, one, two, reverse one. So I give you a little bonus there that you can practice both variations. Get your hands flowing together just like this. A lot of empty hand fighting techniques and double knife fighting techniques come out of this motion right here. And that's why you want to learn it on the double sticks. It's easiest to learn it on the sticks first. Then you can gradually speed it up. Okay. You can bring it up higher. And put a little more power and intention in your strikes or just keep it low and just train your hands to work together in the double weave motion, okay? So once again, just to recap this one, starting in the chamber position, strike the one, strike the two, strike the vertical, strike the one, strike the two, strike the vertical, or the second variation, strike the one, strike the two, strike the reverse one, strike the one, strike the two, strike the reverse one, and get it going, just like this. Now once you have these, I'm gonna give you a third bonus. Let's see if you can connect the single weave and the double weave together into one flow. It looks like this. Starting off on the single weave. And then I move right into the double weave. Then I strike my two and I go back into the single weave. Okay, then watch, there's the one, the two, 
bop, hit that reverse one and you're back into the double weave. So I'm gonna give you some room where you gotta experiment. You gotta get out there and you gotta go do some training and you gotta put some time into this to really figure out the transitions from the single weave into the double weave right there. Did you see it? Did you catch it? Right there, did you see it? Can you do that? Let me know down in the comments once you have the transition from single weave to double weave, double weave back to single weave. And then, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video, that way I know that maybe you wanna see some more videos, some more uh, drills like this. And we can keep building on our Kali skills together. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming training here at Kali Center. And head over to KaliCenter.com and go check out my online school we got a huge video library in there that you can continue your training with. You can join us in our live stream classes every month. You can also train with us one-on-one. -on -one. We'll, we'll give you a personalized training plan that will match your Kali goals that you want to achieve. You can also check out my DVD downloads and my further Kali training courses. Just head over to KaliCenter.com Got the link in the description below, and I'll see you back here next time.